All right, Ed. You hear? All right, listen. You can't follow me around. Okay? Ed, you understand? You can't follow me around. Jasper, Lewis, are you guys around? You say you're doomed? You can cross over. I know you're afraid. But you can go to the light and cross over and be with your family and be with friends and whatever happened here in your living life. You can change that, you can cross over. Ed, do you understand? Do you want, do you want to cross? Do you want me to help you cross? I gotta hear a yes or a no. It's your choice. Did you say no? Tell me again, yes or no, do you want to cross it? If you, if you want to cross, I'm going to tell you what to do. If you don't want to cross, you've got to leave this building. And I asked Jasper and Lewis to make sure that you don't stay in this building or follow me around. Because I don't want you around me either. The things that you did in life are not of my values. Do you understand? Jasper Lewis. This, yes, you got it? Good. So here are your choices. Your choices are to cross over, follow that light, follow guides. Maybe my guide can point you in the direction that you need to go. Maybe your own guide can point you in the direction you need to go. But that, that way is up and that's to the light. Is Carol around? Can Carol point him in a direction to where he needs to go? If you want to go, please say, I want to go. You've done things to people that I know in, in your past. Terrible. Terrible, yeah. Absolutely fucking terrible. You've done things to others as well. So your choice is to cross. You know, your choice is to leave. And I don't care where you go. You go next door to that house and stay with someone who's like you. But you're not allowed to come into this shop. And I don't know if George will have you in over there either, because George lives next door. So, if you want to cross... I'm hoping that maybe Carol, or your own personal guide, or your family, or any angels, higher vibrations can help you cross. Go to them, go to that light, whether it be white or blue, Whatever it is that you see, you go straight to it. And you can start over. This is all I can do to help you. So please take it because I'm being sincere about it. I'm being firm, but I am being sincere about it. You'll be okay if you go to it.
Is he going? Can you tell me? Yes or no? Carol, can you tell me if he's going? Go on up to that light. You'll feel better. You'll feel better if you just go. What's the status, guys? Is he going up to that light? Going up. I feel like he, he wants to go up. Go on. Tell me when he's all the way. Jasper Lewis, can you see what's going on? Carol, are you with me? Is he gone? All right, well, let's hope so. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you. Ed, is he gone? All right. I'm going to shut this down. Thank you. Goodbye. I don't know exactly how I feel about that. Um, I feel like he wanted to go. I don't know for sure if he if he did go, but I feel like he might be gone from here. I got that that feeling. Um, he's a pedophile, and I've got one that lives over there in that house in the back, and I got two that live to the side of me. And I got to thinking that he followed me. We tried to get rid of him from another place, and he may have followed me because he had nowhere else to go. Is what Janet said to me. And it made perfect sense that he followed me because there are people like him around here. And um, I don't want him around me. I don't want him around my kid. And I keep hearing his name coming over the, the box. Um, I haven't heard it for a, a few weeks, but today I heard it. And I hope that he was able to cross on and, and get on out of here. Or at least go somewhere else. I didn't have a lot of compassion for him, but I did have compassion to, to help him move on. That's that.